Hi, this is Divya Lakshmi. I am posing my MSc at KSR Cash. My topic is on ECG. Electrocardiography, commonly known as ECG, is a vital diagnostic tool in the field of cardiology. It plays a crucial role in monitoring and evaluating the electrical activity of the heart. This is a non-invasive product that helps healthcare professional gain valuable signs of into the heart's health and functionality. The ECG traces the electrical impulses generated by the heart as the beat, creating a visual representation of the heart's rhythm and activity. The results are typically displayed on a graph known as electrocardiogram showcasing the various waves and intervals that convey essential information about the heart's performance. One of the fundamental components of the ECG is the P wave which represents the electrical depolarization of the atria. Following this, the QRS complex illustrates the depolarization of the ventricles, while the T waves signifies the air repolarization. Analyzing these components aids in identifying abnormalities in the heart's rhythm such as arrhythmias which can have a serious implication of cardiovascular health. Followed by the R wave representing the peak of the electrical activity during the ventricular contraction. For instance, the wave signs and completion of ventricular depolarization myocardial infractions are told. On the other hand, Specific changes in the ECG pattern such as when ST segment elevation helps with blood. This phase is observed in ECG as appropriate intervention. The T wave represents ECG circular depolarization, indicating the recovery of the heart and monitoring potential as a note for the next contraction. They provide a quick and efficient means of evaluating the impact of treatments and interventions, aiding healthcare professional in making in front of decisions about patient care. In recent years, technological advancements have to lead to portable and wearable ECG devices allowing for continuous monitoring through the outside traditional healthcare settings. These devices empower individuals to track their heart health in real time, provide, providing valuable data for both preventive and diagnostic purposes. Despite its widespread use in printing, ECG results requires expertise and healthcare professionals undergo specialized training to accurately analyze and diagnose based on these readings. Continuous research and advancement in technology further enhance the capabilities of ECG, contributing to more effective and personalized cardiac care. In conclusion, ECG stands as a cornerstone in cardiovascular medicine, enabling timing, timely diagnosis, monitoring and managing of various heart conditions. Its significance lies not only in acute, con- acute con- situations such as heart attacks but also in ongoing care and understanding the cardiac health. As technology continues to evolve, ECG remains a vital role in pursuit of better cardiovascular outcomes. In electrocardiogram, the placement of electrodes in is crucial for accurate cardiac monitoring. Standard placement involves attaching electrodes to specific areas on the patient's chest, arms and legs. There are 10 electrodes in total. Right arm RA placed on right arm, right leg RL placed on the right leg, left arm LA placed on the left arm, left leg placed on the left leg. These four electrodes are the limb leads. Additionally, there are six precorder test chest leads. V1 to V6 placed across to, across the chest, each corresponding to specific intercostal spaces. Proper skin preparation is essential to ensure the group electrode in skin contact. Shave excess hair if necessary. Clean the skin and using rubbing alcohol to remove oils applying conductive gel or electrode cream enhances electrical conductivity understanding the electrode placement helps in capturing electrical signals generated by the heart during each cardiac cycle resulting ecg waveform provides very valuable information about heart rhythm rate and potential abnormalities 
it is essential for healthcare professionals to follow standardized pro- procedures for electrode placement to obtain reliable ecg readings systole during systole the heart contracts to pump blood into the arteries this is reflected in the ecg as a qrs complex the q wave marks the beginning of the ventricular depolarization followed by the r wave representing the peak of the electrical activity during the ventricular contraction finally the wave signs and completion of ventricular depolarization diastole on other hand is the relaxation phase of the heart when it refills with blood this phase is observed in ecg as a t wave the t wave represents ventricular depolarization indicating the recovery of the heart's electrical potential as it prepares for the next contraction